There are goats, and there are sheep. There are virgins with oil. There are virgins without oil. There is good ground, there is bad ground. There's vessels of honor, vessels of dishonor, vessels for wrath, vessels for mercy. Get this in your frame of thinking right now, or you're not going to be able to receive anything from God. Those who are, God, who are with God will accept this. Those who are not with him, they won't. Jesus himself said that if a tree bear fruit, well, and if not, cut it down. If you don't agree with God, you're against him, and he's not going to tolerate that. For some, this is hard to swallow, that there are going to be some who will not be accepted by God. They can't contemplate that God remembers mercy and wrath. Now, Brother Bob, he's beginning a new series of mercy and grace. And now a sheep is not like a goat. They have two conflicting natures. They are opposites. How? One has received mercy. All have sinned. Not one person on this earth, apart from Christ, has lived their life perfect and without blame. We were sentenced to eternal damnation. But as with by one man's offense death reigned, also much more receive abundance of grace and of the gift of righteousness reign in life by one Jesus Christ. Christ has opened up life to us. Mercy has been given. And those who have it are those who have left what have enslaved them to begin with. Now see, God has created an environment in which it looks impossible for any good to come out of. And although the world seems big when it tries to snuff out the flames of truth, those flames, they continue to burn. Because what is mercy if there is no need for mercy? Many people today are self-centered. They try to make a plea for the goats, try to think, well, they were wrong, but no, God is firm on this. Not that God wants anyone to perish. He doesn't. That's why he has given us Christ. But not everyone is going to come to Christ. So here is how we should see it. Those who do come to Christ, those are the ones who have received mercy. Whether you will receive Christ or not has already been predestinated. It's already set in stone. God doesn't finish a work someone else has began. He begins and finishes his own works. Amen. It's foolish to say that God works salvation in random people. That he randomly chooses people to give mercy to. This is God we're talking about. He gives purposes for many purposes for even one thing that he does. And he designs and builds. Now everybody has been made to carry out his will. So the question here is, who will carry it out with joy? Who will carry it out willingly and to please God? Who will God be pleased with in the end? Those whom God has opened this up to. Those who are with Christ. Those who have been given mercy. Now these will be gathered as many sons to glory. And I believe that there are going to be many more who have received mercy than those who have not. Because God delights in mercy. And he has shown it to us, brethren. All who are listening, God has given you mercy. And he is exposing you to learn more about him. Because as much as you know of him, that is, who, that is how much he will be merciful to you. So don't take it for granted. 1 Peter 1, verses 3 through 5. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again into a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Amen. Amen.